And we're here for the second measurement of the year here at the Phillips Station Snow Course, uh, which is our February measurement. And again, this just represents just one out of over 260 different snow courses uh, that are measured statewide by different cooperators of the California Cooperative Snow Surveys Program. Uh, so for our survey today, we recorded a snow depth of 80, 85.5 inches and a snow water content of 33.5 inches. That results in 193% of average to date and 137% of the April 1 average here at this location. Uh, in comparison to our statewide automated sensor network, our statewide snowpack is currently sitting at 205% of average to date as of this morning. Our snowpack is off to an incredible start and it's exactly what California needs to really help uh, break from our ongoing drought. Um, we're actually currently outpacing 1982, 1983. Uh, which is the wettest year on record dating back about 40 years. Uh, thanks in part to nine different atmospheric rivers that hit California, uh, bringing much needed rain and snow. Uh, however, for every day that it doesn't rain or snow, we gradually return to drier conditions. So when we think about drought and when we think about does our big January actually bust the drought in California, it's too soon to tell. Um, and we need to take the lessons of uh, the most recent couple of years in which we've seen that uh, peak snowpack date change, in which we've seen runoff conditions um, drop off uh, dramatically, in which we've seen storm conditions shut down and then be followed by excessive uh, dry periods, again, during what we traditionally know as the wettest periods in California.